In this video, I'm going to show you how you can set up your very own WordPress blog in a matter of minutes using Bluehost. Now, Bluehost is essentially a host that allows you to host your blog or website on. They even give you a free domain name when you end up working with them. And they're what I personally use today. And I think that they're the best one out there because I used to work with HostGator and a lot of different hosts out there. But I found that Bluehost has the best support and they're the most reliable. And they're extremely inexpensive as well. So right now I'm on my blog, projectlifemastery.com in the resources section. And on this page here, I have a lot of great resources that you can use uh, for setting up your own blog, for internet marketing. But I'm gonna come down here and click on Bluehost. And I'm gonna walk you guys through the entire process from start to finish. So as you can see here, it starts at $4.95 per month, which is a really amazing deal. I'm gonna click sign up now. So I'm just going to put in any domain name that I want, mynewcoolblog.com, click on next, and it's going to tell me whether or not it's available or not. Uh, so in this case, it is awesome. It's going to ask for your account information, so I'm just going to put in my personal information right here. Address and everything, perfect. It's going to ask for your package inf information. I'm just going to go to the cheapest plan, which is uh, a 12-month plan here. And then it's going to ask you for these add-ons and everything. A lot of these aren't really that necessary. Um, you might want to look into them and, and try them out if you want. But I'm just going to leave it uh, without it. Ask for my card type. I'm just going to put in my payment information here. Okay, I've, I confirm all that information. Click on Next. Okay, awesome. Now it has all these upgrades here that are optional. Um, I personally don't have any use for any of this stuff. I mean, you might want to look through it and if there's anything that appeals to you, you could definitely upgrade. But I'm just going to leave everything blank and cl click on complete. Okay, awesome. So everything's set up now and I'm going to create my password for my account. Put in a password here. Hit create. Okay, awesome. So now I'm going to log into my account. Okay, and so you can see here that I'm in the control panel right now, and you can see a great video here that's got some uh, good instructions showing you how to use the control panel and all the features of it. But to create the WordPress blog, all I'm gonna do is click on website right here. And then you can see that there's different options of different blogs that I can create, different platforms. I like to use WordPress because uh, they're the most popular one out there. It's very easy to customize your blog. There's a lot of cool templates and themes that you can use. And I'll walk you guys through that in a little while. But I'm just going to click on Use WordPress. Okay, so right now we're just going to wait for them to set up uh, an account with us. This will take a few minutes. Okay, now I'm going to click on Start. Okay, now it's going to ask me to check my domain for WordPress. Click on Check Domain. Okay, it says, oops, looks like something like this already exists. And I'm just going to click on that, which is basically means I'm going to overwrite the files. And then it's going to ask me to uh, whether I have agreed to the terms and conditions. Click on click that checkpoint, click Install Now. Okay, cool. So right now we're just waiting for the install to happen. So this is going to take a few minutes right here. And we're just going to patiently wait. Okay, so everything has been set up now. It's got my site URL right here. And if I just open that in a new tab, it's going to show us just a basic template of our blog right now and just a, the most basic theme. We can always change the theme later, but I'm just going to leave that as it is. And then in order to change everything, we need to log in to WordPress. And so there's this link right here for the login URL, which is basically your blog name.com slash WP dash admin. So the username for now is just admin. And then your password should be back there. I'm just going to copy the password that they gave me. Nope, oh, my username is right here. So it's my email address. paste the password in there, click login, and we can change the password once we're logged in here as well. So right now I'm in the dashboard for my WordPress blog, and I'm just going to give you a quick tour of how everything's located and how it works. 
So right here, there's a get started uh, section right here where you can customize your website. So I'm just gonna click on that right now. And it's gonna ask us for some information about everything. And so right now you can see this is the theme that I'm using right now and I can customize it here as however I'd like. So I'll first change the site title to my new cool blog. I can add in a tagline if I want. My new cool blog. I can change the colors and everything in the background image the front page, whether you want just to have your latest blog post here or just a static page, meaning you just want one page there. You don't want to have all your blog posts listed on that home page. And you can also even set up the featured comp content, save and publish. Okay, great. So I'm going to hit on close right now. And I'm going to go back here and I can just change my entire theme if I want. That was just customizing the one theme that was available for me. But you can set up uh, a totally different theme and install them. A lot of them are free, some of them are paid. Um, but that's what I love about WordPress is there's so much customization to it that you can set it up uh, to however you want, really. I mean, you can set yourself up your very own website, a nice design and everything that you know years ago would cost you thousands of dollars to hire a designer to do that stuff for you. But now you can just do it yourself uh, fairly easily. So right now there's three themes installed right now that I can play around with. If I want to add more, I just click on add new theme. And I can just search for themes that are in the WordPress uh, uh, store, I guess. But you know a lot of them are free basically. But I can uh, add some filters to it based on what I'm looking for. But if I just click on featured, it's going to show me some themes that are available right here. I can install all these themes for free. And these are just the featured ones. And I can click on the newest ones. And there's a bunch of new themes here as well. And I'll also show you some different resources that you can use to find uh, a little bit higher end themes if you want to pay for it. I'll show you that at the end of this uh, video. But for now, let me show you how you can set up uh, your very own blog post. I'm going to go to the post section here, click on add new. And I'm gonna put in welcome to my new cool blog. That's gonna be the title of the blog post. I'm gonna put in some info here. So hey, welcome to my new cool blog. This video is just to show you how easy and fast you can set up your very own WordPress blog. Okay, cool. Now if I wanna add an image or media to it, I just click on Add media here. I can upload files. I'm gonna upload this image here and just click on insert into post. And there you go. I got an image right there in the blog post. There's a bunch of other stuff that I can set here, the formatting and whatnot, but I was gonna click on publish. And I'm gonna click on view post in new window so I can show you guys. Okay, so that's the blog post I just set up. And you know, I don't really like this theme, so let's just change that right now real quick. I'm just gonna go to appearance, themes. And let's just do this simple one right here. Activate it. Visit site. Okay, there we go. So that's a more simple, clean theme right there. Um, so this is the blog post right here is where I can change the pages here. So right now there's a sample page. And for example, I can add like an about us section here or contact us. I'll just show you real quick how you can do that. You're just going to go to pages here and you're going to just go to all pages or add new. I'm just going to edit the existing one right here. Change this just to about. Change this to about. This is just a URL for this page. You can change that as well. Welcome to my new cool blog. My name is Stefan. Thanks for visiting. Okay, just update that. Cool, so you can see when I refresh, uh, let's go back here. So let's just go back to the home page. Okay, now there's the about page right there. When I click on it, it's gonna be the about me page. 
So as you can see, I'm not going to go through everything here, but you can just see how easy it is to customize everything. Uh, I'll just show you this, uh, another thing, how to set up the widgets, which is the sidebar here, how you can edit this. And I'll also show you how to set up plugins real, real quick too, because I think that's a really important element of using WordPress. So first the widgets, if I go to the appearance, go to widgets right here. And as you can see, I can change the header, the background, I can customize it any way that I want. But this is what I have right now in the main sidebar, search, recent posts, recent comments, archives, categories, meta. And as you can see, here's the search, here's the recent post, here's the recent comments, archives, etc. So to change this, I can first just change this around in any way that I want. If I want the search down here or up here. Um, there's some available widgets right here as well. And when you install different plugins, which I'm going to show you in a little while, you can actually add some new cool widgets um, to the sidebar uh, that you want. And if you want to get rid of something, I just drag it away and I just got rid of it. Okay, so that's widgets right there. And let's just go to plugins here and I'm going to go to uh, add new. And you can search for different plugins that are available on WordPress or you can just look at what's featured or popular. Let's just go to popular. I'll have to do a blog post on all the different uh, plugins that I use on my blog. Uh, but you can see here there's a bunch of different plugins and what they do. Um, if you want to do search engine optimization, you can set up um, the all-in-one SEO pack, which will help you optimize your blog posts. You can set up a contact form here. Uh, you can set up Google Analytics, which will help you track all the visitors that come to your uh, blog and where they're coming from and everything. And basically, if you want to install something, all you got to do is just click on Install Now. So I'll install the contact form. Click OK. OK, it's installed it. Activate plugin. Now we can just click on Settings for the contact form. And basically, it gives me this short code right here that I can place in any page where I want the contact form to be displayed. And you can set it up so that when people try to contact you, it goes to your email. So right now it's set up to my email address right there. And there's detailed instructions on how to do everything. Um, so right now I've got one. If I want to add a new one, I click right here. But let's just go to Pages, Add New. I'm going to do Contact, put in the short code, hit Publish, View Page. There we go. And I got a contact form. It's a new page. So I got home about contact. Now when you when anybody wants to contact you, just fill it out and that's it. So basically in a matter of minutes, I've showed you how you can set up your own blog or website using WordPress, using Bluehost. Bluehost does all the hosting for you. They're a really great company. I highly recommend you work with them. Like I said, I've worked with a lot of the different hosting companies out there. I used to use HostGator and whatnot. And I absolutely love Bluehost. They by far have the best support. They're the easiest to work with. They're the most reliable. Um, so I d definitely recommend working with them. And if you want to have some more advanced themes, I'll show you guys some different resources that you can use for that. So I'm just going to go back to the resource section on projectlifemaster.com. And if I come down here, this is thesis theme. And this is actually the theme that I use uh, for my blog, Project Life Mastery. And I found that they're really great um, for customization. There's a lot of really cool things that you can do with them. So you can click there and check them out. There's also Woo Themes as well, which is the leading kind of WordPress theme and plugin provider out there on the internet. And if you're willing to spend a little bit of money, you can get a lot of really cool, high level, advanced themes together that can just really make your website or blog stand out and different in a lot of different ways. Um, I personally don't mind investing in them because I think they have a lot of really great quality stuff, a lot of uh, better stuff than what's available for free. And so I definitely recommend checking them out as well. And then I also use Optimize Press here, which um, allows me to create different sales letter and sales pages for different products that I'm offering. And that's a WordPress theme as well. And if you're looking for a really great course to help you um, learn how to build your own blog and make money blogging and everything, then there's a course right here called Start a Blog That Matters. I've been through it twice now and it's helped me build up my blog into a profitable blog that gets over 2,000 visitors a day. So check out these resources here. Check out Bluehost. I really hope this video helped you 
understand how easy it is to set up your own blog. And I hope this uh, will help you understand WordPress a little bit better and set up your, own, your very own blog. Thanks for watching this video. I'll talk to you soon.